So I wrote an order entry system and this lady, Phyllis, was putting the orders in. I said, okay, hit this, you know, F12. She hit it, order came back, typed it in, bang. And she looked at me, she turned to me and she cried. And it was a very moving moment because I knew she was happy and I'd never seen a woman cry because she was happy. And I thought, wow, this is really, really powerful. I started working on this company from a desk in my office in a house with a single laptop. Fred had been thinking about this for a while. I think what he saw was that, um, let's say his banking application, it was very easy to use. And he really wanted to take that concept and put it into the, into the enterprise world. Like, okay, let's make some software that's really easy to use, very intuitive. The company was uh, just an amazing place to be. I mean, it was just a small group of people completely focused on what we were doing, you know, led by Fred, which was just remarkable. We weren't building this code in a vacuum. We were building it with the customers. Knowing the experience in the room, these guys were the most legendary, brilliant guys of that company. Fred always, he loved solving complex problems, but not just solving complex problems, solving them in the most simple way possible working with the customer and figuring out how to make their life better. That is what ServiceNow is all about. That's what it was about in the beginning. That's what it's about today. So if, if you've just joined the company, um, I think it's a company that was founded on hiring great people, uh, taking care of the customer. You know, you just can't be too full of yourself. You know, um, come here, teach us. Teach us what you know, we'll teach you what we know. Bring that quirkiness with you. Bring that uniqueness with you. Bring the crazy hair, the, you know, the, the music that you love. And we had this release go out. Welcome back. With that, we move on to the panel discussion titled Enabling Workflows Collaboration Using technology and first up I'd like to welcome and introduce the members of this Power Pack panel. Vinod Bhatt, Chief Information Officer, Vistara Tata SIA Airlines. Sachin Bhalla, Vice President and Country General Manager for India and SART, Secure Power Division, Schneider Electric. Chirag Kunlia, Group Chief Technology Officer, Embassy Group. Raveen Prakash, Chief People Officer, Baijus, Sumedha Chakraborty, India Head, Google, Workspace, and Anand Chaudhary, General Manager, Information Technology, Chief Information Officer, Merino Industries Limited. This session will be moderated by Faridun Totiwala, partner, McKinsey. Faridun, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ivan, and good afternoon to everyone, and good afternoon to the panel and everyone who are watching. Uh, so we have a big panel and uh, not that much time, so it's going to be actually quite quick and a lot of fun. But maybe I'll go around to each of you uh, with a simple question to start off with. If you could just give a 30-second sense of your role, so what you do, and why do you believe that workplace, workforce collaboration in today's environment is more important than ever? And maybe, Praveen, we start with you. Okay. So, um, uh, thank, thank you, you for, uh, uh, for starting off with a 30-second introduction. Kind of sets the context for everyone to understand what we do. Uh, at Baijus, I look at people, people problem, people collaboration, uh, any kind of integration that we have when we have a new acquisition coming on board, even, even the most important things like new hires and how do we integrate them into the system. Uh, so workforce collaboration is, is for me people collaboration. How does that get enabled or how do we better that process? Uh, nothing to do with the pandemic. It's, it's, it's been a, a 360 degree view on this uh, day in, day out, even pre-pandemic and post-pandemic for us. Thank you. Maybe we go to you next. Uh, thank you for having me for in this panel discussion. So. I would say my name is Vinod Bhatt. I am the Chief Information Officer for Visa Airlines, uh, Tata CI Airlines Limited. Uh, as part of my responsibility, I am responsible for all the IT, all the digital strategies across the globe. And why workforce collaboration is important, uh, particularly post-pandemic, uh, 
See, See airlines is uh, probably, probably one, one of the uh, worst hit industries uh, last two years, and uh, our workforce is distributed, and our workforce is remote, and this pandemic even it has become a lot more distributed, a lot more remote. Uh, I'm talking about not only the front-facing uh, uh, workforce but also the back-end workforce. Uh, so this is very important for us, making sure that we, uh, you know. You know, there's no impact on the productivity. We stay close on uh, the digital transformation, and we make sure that you know we create this as a differentiator in the market from the customer experience perspective. It's very important. So I would say sum up like this. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe uh, Anand to you next. Yeah. Hi. I am Anand. I head IT for Marino Industries Limited. We are a leading name in surface solution like we have high pressure laminate, press room cubicles, furnitures. We have also agro business where we have high ending potato seeds and potato mash used by Haldi um, Ram or McDonald's and all. So we are names for them. Um, if you have touched any uh, airport, 90% of the airports have the rest room cubicles of Mario. Um, uh, in India, so we have more than 40 airports which we are uh, surface solution has been provided uh, by Remo. Um, the second question the workforce collaboration during pandemic, especially in manufacturing, we have uh, we have challenges during the work from home as uh, we have two kind of employees who are working with us. One is the blue collar employees and their supervisors and managers, where hand and feet support is very important. And uh, it's rest of the people, maybe around 60 to 70 percent of people who are in the same support, who are in the field support, they can still work from home. So, mainly processing and manufacturing are still manual. And this makes a case for providing a flexible works, uh, working model where employee can, partial, uh, can be partially, partially physical uh, in the workspace and maybe remotely also. So this makes a case of a hybrid workspace requirement, a hybrid uh, uh, working the culture in the organization. Thank you, Anand. And Sumeda? Hi, everyone. Uh, I head the Google workspace business for India and South Asia region for Google Cloud. Uh, workspace is the productivity and collaboration suite of Google. And this is what we also use internally and have been using since the beginning of Google as an organization. I think to, uh, to answer the second question, uh, over the last um, two odd years in Google, while internally as well as um, me being part of the business that looks at workplace and workforce transformation for our customers as well, we have understood that human connections have become more critical than ever. Time is crucial and most importantly, work is no longer a place. Work can be done from anywhere and that is the culture that we are trying to drive in Google. And everything that we are trying to build in our platform, which we also offer externally, believes in these three core principles. And uh, that's what we are also uh, living through in our day-to-day -day life as Google employees as well. Thank you. Uh, Sachin? Hi, so this is Sachin. I had uh, secure power business of uh, Schneider Electric. So Schneider Electric is, is uh, into manufacturing of, of a lot of electrical products uh, from MCD to transformer to whatever you, you will have it. And um, we are focused on energy management. As our business unit, we are focused more on providing backup power, precision cooling, track, etc. for data centers and for uh, different machines and, and for computers. Uh, what I would say is, look, what we are seeing is one, COVID and more, more COVID, we are essential service providers, so we have to make sure that we are delivering our products and services to customers because nobody can you know, live without electricity, without uh, digital setup. So we need to be uh, out there even if there is COVID, but we have to make sure that our teams are safe. So collaboration at in the time of COVID, that is... Uh, a big thing for, for us, we have, to, we have to continue to work. That is one and second, what we are seeing is more and more the solution that we are providing to our customers are global solutions. So we have to interact a lot with our global teams. So how do we not just collaborate with India as its own, but collaborate with China, collaborate with Europe, collaborate with our colleagues in the US, so that we are able to deliver 
a fast and effective solution to our uh, end consumers. So from 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 a my standpoint, these two are critical. Thank you. And Chirag. Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks, Pradhan, for having me here. Um, I run the IT function for MSC Group, and MSC Group has been there in the in the world of real estate for the last three decades. Uh, you know, ranging interest from residential to you know business parks to co-working, co-living, restaurant clubs, integrated townships, so on and so forth. Um, the very purpose of you know, I, you know, I'm coming to the second question. The very purpose of having collaboration. I mean, uh, the world is going to be significantly different from how it, uh, you know, how we have known uh, thus far, and it's extremely important that uh, we, we leverage technology to the fullest extent and you know magnify the human ingenuity and collaboration. So I think it's extremely important, even uh, more so for uh, you know old school or uh, old school industries like real estate, for that matter. Back to you, Vaidu. Lovely. So, so we really established, I think, quite, quite clearly the importance of workplace collaboration. It was always important. COVID has made it even worse. Distributed work from home. Human connection becomes more critical. Work is no longer a place. We need to collaborate globally. And the world is going to be very different from what is known. So let me start with you this time, Chirag, since you went last, last time. Uh, how have the last two years shaped your company's workforce collaboration strategy? Awesome. Um, uh, a safe harbor statement, I mean, I'm representing the industry, you can say so, uh, from a real estate perspective. So, you know, as a matter of fact, I mean, you know, real estate uh, as an industry has been, you know, has adapted probably technolo technology only at a superficial level, right? Um, and incidentally, one of the reports which probably brought out was that it is just ahead of agriculture in terms of tech adaption. And um, that, that's the very reason why I'm here in this organization, because the purpose was to accelerate the digital transformation. And, um, and in over the last two years, you know, what I've seen is that, you know, what COVID, I mean, normally I don't like to pivot my conversation in and around, uh, you know, COVID, but... Uh, since this uh, question is exactly been pointed, but the fact is that what COVID has done is it has accelerated the trends which were any which was inevitable, right? I mean, uh, you know, writing was there on the wall. Whether whether you, whether you talk about e-commerce from a retail perspective or whether you talk about uh, collaboration using you know the, the various uh, collaboration suites which are available in the market. They were pretty much there on the anvil. There were digital first companies which were already adapting and working and thriving on these tools, right? And it was a matter of time that, you know, then industries like ours or domain like ours where we also adapt, uh, you know, wholeheartedly and that actually happened. Uh, and, uh, you know, to give an example, you know, uh, you know when I joined, uh, I joined this organization pre-COVID and then we used to run across multiple offices for face-to-face -face meetings. Um, and you know, I used to push for all of these, you know, collaborative solutions, meetings, uh, you know, over Polycom to, you know, Google Hangouts to Microsoft Teams, but it was not well accepted and well, uh, you know, uh, understood. But I think uh, COVID actually made life easy for, uh, you know, for people like us because it, it actually became a wide stream, a mainstream, uh, you know, tool for collaboration. And uh, then I normally say that, you know, uh, I've got a new employee with, within my IT organization and I call it as a COVID transformation officer because essentially it has helped me what I could have, you know, pushed it as smartly as, as COVID has done. So uh, the positive aspects of COVID has really, really helped. And we can probably talk on many other examples on, uh, during the course of the conversation. Back to you. Thank you. Maybe we have for one more person on this question, which uh, probably maybe to you. Right. So, how have the last two years shaped your company's workforce collaboration strategy? Um, we used to be a Bangalore-centric company with uh, touch points across the country um, for for our learning programs, learning centers, and 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 for customers. But the last two years has uh, completely changed that perspective. Uh, uh, our employees were outside of Bangalore, they were working from home for large parts of the first year. Uh, we had on and off, uh, 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 on and off 
initiators if i could put it to bring them back and there were different waves of of covid and we can't we can't move away from the word covid uh, if you talk about the last two years right uh, so those those phases have kind of changed uh, uh, our perspective of a plan there is nothing called a plan because there is the, there is an idea we try and implement it we see if it works the idea changes the situation changes and then we have a different plan so the two most important aspects if you ask me has been growth the definition of growth for our employees has kind of changed it's, it's responding to a situation better uh, the workplace doesn't really matter uh, if i just talk about workplace per se it has become distributed so i no longer have one team based out of one city of india i i have the same team based out of three or four locations they have learned to collaborate better so the tools are always available uh, and and i agree with chirag uh, in in that aspect the tools are always available we always had all of that uh, you know at our disposal but uh, the fact that we never used it to its fullest is something that kind of stood out in the last two years um, and all the all the you know google suites the the e meeting options that that we are using right now and otherwise all got amplified all of that got amplified training programs oh my god it it completely turned topsy turvy so no one really understood what a classroom is trainers uh, uh, it could not could not look at uh, uh, could not look at the new employees or trainees uh, faces to figure out if they are able to understand so you had to do a whole lot better so all those uh, aspects of collaboration from learning to doing uh, has have have kind of changed even responsibility that an employee takes has changed they have to take decisions on their own they can't walk around and figure out what's what's the what's the right thing to do uh, as per the team the decisions are all your own success is your own failure is your own so uh, that entrepreneurship uh, element has has kind of gone way above in the last two years thank you So let's go to the next question, Sumedha, to you, which is: What are Google Cloud's thoughts on the workplace of the future, and how is Google Cloud helping organizations achieve business transformation through enabling collaboration? Sure. Again, a very relevant question and uh, very insightful comments from the rest of the panelists. Uh, very, uh, very uh, much aligned with what we believe as a. Uh, a philosophy when we are driving the vision of google workspace as a product um, google workspace is the productivity and collaboration suite of google and we have um, millions of customers enterprises across the globe as well as uh, many uh, enterprises in india uh, uh, using google workspace for many years we have uh, a cloud native solution which makes it very easy to really challenge um, some of the uh, challenges that are seen in the hybrid mode of world uh, that covid has amplified in the last couple of years uh, and i'll highlight a few which will answer um, you know through some light on the questions that you mentioned uh, faridun um security has become a challenge when people can literally work from anywhere right like i said work is no longer a place you don't have the physical perimeters of your office to control the security of data that is um, getting shared between employees or employees and external um, customers partners of any organization so being cloud native helps us build in those securities inherently in the product or the platform so that's something that we have really focused on tremendously in terms of building in more enhancements in our entire platform from that point of view the other piece is around collaboration equity so prabhi mentioned a, a very um, very uh, insightful point around employees are now becoming more accountable of how they show up and uh, them having a lot more control uh, uh, on on how they perform their work now we have been really enhancing our technology to support employees to do that and and those are very um, small but very powerful enhancements that we keep rolling out like for example um, today when you uh, accept a meeting calendar invite uh, google workspace allows you to accept it and at the same time 
let the host know whether you'll be joining in person or whether you'll be joining from home uh, right away without any other glitches. So that's one step moving forward in terms of giving that power to the employee and at the same time letting the people know that this is where the employee is going to be working from for this important or critical meeting. Um, again, another very critical piece is collaboration equity around companion mode. So again, we are seeing a lot of hybrid meetings happening these days where part of the um, attendees are in a big conference room, whereas uh, the rest are just tiles on the screen. Now, how do you make sure that both the sets of people have the same uh, level of participation? So we lighted up a new feature called um, companion mode in Google Workspace, which allows an attendee in a conference room to also join in with the companion mode through Google Meet and raise your hand and do literally everything that the Meet platform offers, even if you're in the physical mode, so that you are equally um, able to participate in a big uh, meeting that is happening in a hybrid fashion. Again, going back to giving a lot of that equity to the employees and, and giving them the power to really collaborate seamlessly. The other piece I wanted to talk about is there has been tremendous enhancements in terms of uh, us bringing in Google's power of AI, Google's power of speech to text into this platform uh, tremendously in the last couple of years again. Uh, the closed caption texts have been, again, very helpful for large audiences who are joining across the globe on just, again, another uh, tech platform like a Meet, where everyone is a tile, and sometimes you don't even know who's um, speaking from which country. They may have a certain accent or from different parts of the country in India. We have a, a varied uh, uh, you know, population in terms of language preferences. And all of that is taken care of by the closed caption mode. Again, that's something we have lighted up. Um, and that is really uh, being loved by a lot of our users because it is embedding Google's speech to text uh, technology, which we have been testing, and it is one of the uh, leaders in the market, which we all know. So a lot of these features are also getting rolled out seamlessly without the users having to do any upgrades. That's the power of cloud native and the browser-based um, application that we have. Like you as a user, will just be able to use it the next time you turn on your platform without having to make any changes, any upgrades, yeah. any ID admins having to roll out anything. So this simplicity is what we are trying to drive through our platform to Got support it. customers. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so Anand, maybe to you, right? So your organization has gone through a journey to embrace a platform to improve collaboration. So what was the journey and what were some of the challenges you faced and how did you deal uh, the good part of this forum is that people have a background from uh, construction industry, uh, then the building material, real estate, and all. Uh, and these all challenges were um, common challenges in a manufacturing company, uh, especially where uh, there is a building material company or like this. If I talk of uh, our organization or a manufacturing organization, we have a we don't have a very uh, IT savvy users, okay. as well as we have a very lean IT as compared to the other industries. Uh, and our, uh, if you talk of uh, the, uh, the simple, we require simple solutions uh, which can be adopted and uh, uh, users can be, uh, can be trained easily. User adoption is one of the biggest, uh, um, uh, biggest uh, hurdle what I see in any collaboration tool. We, um, we uh, in, uh, two years back, uh, when this COVID uh, pandemic happened, uh, the most important and critical aspects was the bandwidth availability. 
which uh, which no other tools, uh, no collaboration tool provider or uh, the uh, the uh, industry has focused. The branded was one of the major challenge, and we wanted to have a tool which takes a less branded uh, to uh, do for the video meetings and all. And um, again, uh, the uh, the challenge was that the people reaction, the cultural issues which happened in the organization. So the uh, the uh, the selection of the tool, which was uh, Google Workspace um, uh, last year only during the pandemic only, which was this tool, and uh, the uh, the one of the most critical part of this tool uh, to choose uh, the Google Workspace as a tool of the collaboration was the security and the control. What Suleja told us that this was the one of the very important aspects for us. People need the medium like WhatsApp as their communication tool. Uh, collaboration tool. They used to uh, do the uh, WhatsApp uh, video calls between the managers and their uh, their team, and this uh, make the uh, make our organization data breaches started happening. We adopted it to have a quick communication, to have a have a collaboration and all. Then uh, after some time, we understood that there are lot of uh, uh, data security breaches. People are sending from they have a email in their uh, in their as an attachment, they have a sales report. They share this on the WhatsApp. That is not the corporate collaboration what we were thinking of. So we chose Google uh, Workspace as a platform. Uh, the most important reason uh, which what made me to choose uh, this Google Workspace was the MDM solution, which was available with Google Workspace, where I, I with, without a basic installation on their mobile phone, just using the simple simple username and password, the MDM got installed, and we were able to uh, stop this uh, sharing uh, the corporate communication on the WhatsApp and other social platforms. This was one of the um, one of the key reason we chose this. Uh, Google Workspace. Second uh, reason was installation. Uh, we don't have a very big IT team, so we have around 2020 users. And I know the most big IT team that that you have a fine fine knowledge system. You give a remote to the uh, to the uh, to the IT team, and they will install it. So this was one of the uh, key reason uh, that we wanted a. Uh, collaboration solution which works on a browser. There is no new learning for our users. So uh, what made us choose Google Workspace uh, and the reachability to the user? Um, we, we have Google Chat, which made us reachable to the users very easily. And that was the conversation. Yeah, yeah, and what the challenges that you faced while doing all this? Challenges, Challenges. I, I again repeat that, that brand with availability installation of we wanted uh, to people quickly adopt their training. And uh, one of the most important uh, challenge what we faced is the uh, devices. Uh, during pandemic in the last few years, you see that uh, the you don't get find a laptops uh, in in a in a week. You have to wait for two to three weeks or all, almost a month to get new laptops if you order in the market. So you have to uh, support the BOIT schemes also for the users. So this, this was one of the key challenge. What what we face is. Uh, and and uh, uh, the at all, the, 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 we have the, the people from the multiple locations balancing the individual priorities. Like uh, people are not turning up for the training, and then uh, there was uh, the other aspect that people are not uh, using the tools capabilities. Like uh, is uh, like Sunda told us that they have a companion mode. Users are not aware sitting in the same room. There there are a lot of uh, background noises which happens. So using People are not trained. Right? People are not trained yeah. on the features. That was so it was about, it was about their own capabilities and kind of. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, so Sachin, maybe the next question to you. you know, so what what are some of the mindset changes that you believe are most important by making such a transition? I, I think uh, what we saw was uh, typically there is an inertia. Okay, everybody is used to a certain way of uh, doing work, and they want to. Work in, in that fashion. I mean, uh, I mean, if you see, a lot of these work collaboration tools existed for last ten years, but they got adopted when COVID stuck. I mean, basically, there was no other way except to move to this. And I would say 
the biggest challenge is always how do you shake up the inertia so that people move to the new way of work once you are able to address that by either burning the old bridges or telling people this is the only way to go forward then there is no problem so bridging the inertia i would say is the biggest challenge thank you and uh, uh, we have a question to question to you what do you think are some of the important features that will really mark the workplace in the future uh thank you farzeen uh see what we believe is that whatever current tool set platforms which have uh, evolved last two years is probably collaboration on auto and what we are going towards is more where collaboration is getting merged with the business model so what it, what it means is that today is it has to go beyond meetings it has to go beyond connecting people it has to go beyond booking of conference rooms it has to be integrated with the workflows it has to be integrated with all of the employees who is doing day in day out it has to be given access employees have to be given access through these collaboration tools to the important documents in a very secure way in a compliant way and also connecting the end consumers and customers so it has to, this has to be the core of the business model and with the emerge of uh, you know the new technologies like you know extended reality or metaverse how are you going to put the features as part of this so that people don't have to necessarily travel still get the same feel while you start these tools to not only do what you are supposed to do but make these tools as your differentiator because it is also the organization change management it's also the people skills it's also the work life balance it's also the customer experience employee experience it's also the differentiation of the market so how do you use these tools uh, to create the platforms to create a core uh, of the business model and that's what we believe that it is going to emerge in uh, in the future thank you and any probing question to you so you know as you kind of keep increasing these levels of collaboration how do you ensure see why increasing collaboration um i, I lost one word how do you ensure how do you ensure speed while while increasing collaboration so uh Yeah, increasing collaboration 100% is a mandate uh, for the employee, for the employer, everyone, right? Um, increasing speed is a wonderful thought. Uh, I actually feel that uh, from a from a workforce standpoint, uh, at least in our industry, we would have gone a couple of steps behind in the year 2020 because of of um, not working from uh, from office and working remote. I'll give a set of quick examples to help uh, everyone understand. You know uh, the the pain that I'm talking about. Uh, one year, a set of new employees have come. They don't know. Uh, they don't know why uh, a 2019 one month program is not enough for them to get up to speed because it's taking more time. Right. Uh, number two, uh, employee who's been there for a year before the pandemic suddenly realizes. he or she is not getting enough time with their manager everything is everything is now 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes so they feel left out they feel that my manager no longer you know likes me loves me gives me importance uh, because everything is that weekly once weekly twice of course we can we can put all of this as uh, training or communication and say uh, uh, introduce a chat uh, you know chat uh, ch- chat application or ensure that calendar meets are filled Uh, even forget new old any kind of employee forget skill forget age even the fact that um, your your work timings have gone for a toss in the first year saying saturday sundays were were missing i think the whole of, whole of 2020 2021 it kind of came back but when does work really stop because i have heard so many people including myself uh, witness the the magical calendar invite appearing and people calling you saying you got the calendar invite just come and join right so uh, the wonderful cloud tools that we speak about are, are wonderful but at the same time from a people aspect it's 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 got a small psychological impact uh, so we need to take care of the employee well being i think the speed uh, would would automatically come once people get used to it uh, people get used to that collaboration uh, I, 
I have a very different perspective from maybe others in this group because uh, I'm looking at it more from a people happiness perspective. And they feel that something is missing from before. They feel that, um, and maybe love is a very strong word, but they feel that love is missing as an as employee. They want that connect. So we are trying to bring that connect back in. A little bit of offline mixed with online will help. We have already brought people back to office, the hybrid working, meetings once a month. All of those are kind of bringing, uh, bringing everyone's efficiency back. And if I could just say one statement before I go off, it's about all your employees understanding what the mission is of your organization. If they are aligned with that mission, even if the connects kind of uh, change and uh, you know they don't get talk time as much as they used to before, but they understand why they're doing what they're doing, then all the other aspects of thinking on their own, taking decisions on their own, checking up on their teammates, all of that happens. And then the organization anyway is going to take off. This is my opinion. What are the tools we can use for it? Uh, we should, we, can, we are, uh, but, but this, this single-minded vision and mission, uh, if everyone gets to know, know that and is part of that, then I think you, half your problem is solved, more than half of your problem is solved. You get the speed. Thank you. So I know we have about four minutes left, so maybe we'll go around the group with just some closing thoughts from each of you. And also one piece of advice that you might have for the audience or for the people who are watching. So Chirag, let's start with you. Right? What's your one piece of advice or any other closing thoughts that you'd like to leave people with? Awesome. I think, uh, great. So, you know, I, though I'm a technologist, but you know, my belief is that, you know, tech uh, should be used beyond the applications which manages the data. Tech has the capability to build a relationship with, uh, you know, your stakeholders. So start building applications using leveraging the, the ever, uh, you know, improving, uh, you know, AI and ML and build relationships and then collaboration will be an outcome of it automatically. Thank you. Thank you. Sachin. I would say that we are moving from a digital only world to a hybrid world and uh, the tools that work with, have uh, worked for, uh, for us in digital world so well, either have to evolve or we will have to look for new tools so that they work more effectively in the hybrid environment. Thank you. I think uh, as a head of this business for the country and also um, for uh, a large part of our customers, I would request all of you, um, Google customers, non-Google customers to speak out and, and share your challenges with your technology platform providers. We've taken a lot of feedback and we continue to enhance our products for this hybrid mode. And it is important that we hear you and we uh, keep bringing in those enhancements in the platform because it is going to be a time of experimentation for some time till we get used to the hybrid way of working. Anand. Uh, in my perspective, reaching people faster with real-time conversation with your team, that, that makes me sense for the collaboration. On I think we have a lot of meetings, uh, everything uh, going on. But conversations uh, we organize in public with the team, uh, which makes sense, which converts our data into our information and our productivity, business information. That makes sense. Well. Uh, I would say embrace the change. Uh, this is the you know permanent. I would say shift to the operating model. We need to understand that. And the sooner we do it, the better it is. And uh, a lot of good technologies around. I think we should all uh, leverage, make that part of the strategy. And see how we can help the business and the stakeholders. And probably, I would say the change is inevitable. Technology is changing. Uh, you know, your digital tools are changing, but it's all because of the way in which the mindset is changing. So, if it aligns with the mindset change, or the mindset aligns with the digital change, I think we are all, we are all in a good place. So we just have to keep our ears open, listen, and uh, whoever be the stakeholder, I think we're going to we're going to figure out the answers very soon. Great. So I think just in closing, before I hand it back to Ivan, I think wonderful discussion. We established why collaboration is important, the use of digital tools in doing that, the challenges in kind of adopting them, the need to actually move more to hybrid than just virtual, the changes in mindset and paradigms that we need. So with that, can we hand it back to Ivan to close us off? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, honestly, you just had 40 minutes, Faridun, with uh, this wonderful panel, but I think uh, it was structured very well. 
Uh, your questions were very crisp and the answers were very crisp. So I think there were fantastic takeaways in the 40 minutes, at least for me, and I'm sure for the members of this audience. I'd like to thank each of our panelists for taking time off from their busy schedules and joining us at the Digital Workplace Summit. And Faridun, thank you for doing a fantastic job of moderating this panel. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge all of you to visit the Shivami booth in the Experience Zone and interact with their experts and learn how Google Cloud can help your organization with the future of work strategy. Believe you me, you will not be disappointed. Do stay tuned in. We will be back on the other side with the next session.